Hey guys, it's Professor Freak here, uh, coming at you with another lesson. Um, so this week, uh, we're going to look at string bending. And vibrato. Um, reason being, I think that these are both uh, incredibly important parts of playing guitar. Um, especially if you're playing you know, lead or electric guitar, uh, then bending uh, is very important. Um, so we'll start off with vibrato, and you'll see kind of why I tied these together, because it's similar action in terms of what your hands have to do. Um, so to start off with, there's really a couple ways to do vibrato. Um, the first is, you know, let's say I'm playing this uh, D right here. Or excuse me, that's not a D, that's a C. Um, a C right here. You know, there are a couple ways to do vibrato. You have the, the classical style, or the, the style you see more acoustic players do, which is to literally move your finger back and forth on the string, you know, away from the fret and nearer to the fret. And the, the kind of pitch difference you get, you actually get the pitch going above and below what the actual note you're trying to hit. So the pitch is oscillating between a little sharp and a little flat when you use this type of vibrato. And then you have uh, sort of the uh, more traditional rock vibrato or that's used by electric guitar players where you're bending the string. And then, yeah, like I said, that actually involves bending the string. And this can kind of be divided into to two ways you can do it. The first is using your wrist to perform the action. So, so you're actually rotating the wrist. Or the other is actually using your fingers. So here I'm using my finger to curl. And uh, so we'll start off with the wrist, probably because it's easier to do, and then your index finger. So why don't we, you know, for the sake of uh, simplicity, since we've looked at it before, go with this A minor pentatonic. Um, and let's say, I don't know, let's pick this C again, and, uh, you know, look at that note. Basically, you want to have your finger firmly on the string because you do not want to lose a hold of the string because otherwise you get, you get that, you know, which I guess if that's what you're looking for then cool, but um, if you're trying to do vibrato you want to have a firm hold of the string, so you want to press down firmly right behind the fret, and then it's all about you're rotating your uh, wrist in one direction, I'm not going in both directions. I'm only going in one direction and let, allowing it to return. So in this situation, I'm bending this uh, string slightly down or, you know, towards the floor. I'm turning my wrist, you know, uh, slightly what is uh, clockwise for me or counterclockwise for you guys the way you're viewing it. So just turning my wrist with a firm hold of the string. Same thing if you put another finger on. You just want to have a firm hold, and you do the same sort of action. So, you know, that's the basic principle of it. Um, now, it takes a long time to get comfortable with this. It feels very weird, you know. If you're right-handed, you know, playing, playing the guitar right-handed, obviously, um, you know, your left hand's not going to be have as much dexterity and strength, so I actually encourage you guys to honestly just sometimes just work on this, just just rotate your wrist because that's what it comes down to is to being able to rotate your wrist like this and control it. Um, that's where the source of that vibrato is going to come from. So, um, and uh, sort of as a rule of thumb, you know, let's assume on these bottom four strings, the E, the A, the D, and the G. You know, you can all bend downwards on those, but if you get up to the second string and you try and bend down too far, 
you're going to go off the side of the neck. And again, you know, if you're not trying to do that deliberately, it doesn't sound good. Um, so in those situations, you have to bend your wrist in the opposite direction. Again, we're not going both ways. We're bending up and allowing it to return to the original position and then bending back up again. So it's sort of, you know, you're up and then down, up and then down. And then, you know, such as I mentioned, the other way is to use your fingers. Um, the same principle in which you're bending, you know, you're going to bend down on the lower strings and bend up on the higher strings. It's just generally, when your hand gets stretched out, so like if you're doing, you know, something like that, and you want to end on this D right here, you know, you may choose to just you curl your finger, it's almost you're contracting your finger in your hands like this. Upside. So that's, that's one way to do it, and it's really it's just whatever feels comfortable. Sometimes I do it just because of the position my hand happens to be in. Um, and then you can, again, you can do it on the other string, but you're going to want to bend up. So this is more using my finger to bend up. Back to the wrist, finger. You can tell the difference when looking at my hand, because you don't see the wrist moving, but you still hear the vibrato pitch. And so that's basically it. I mean, that's that's how vibrato works. Now, what you need to practice is you need to practice it really slow. And I would say to look for sort of a consistency in a controlled sense. Um, I mean, one thing that happens is guys just try and do it as fast as they can. And I actually, a lot of times it may not fit the music. If you're playing something slow or bluesy, you know, you may want... You may want a real slow vibrato. And if you're playing something, you may want a fast one, but you need to practice both. And especially beginning, you need to start off slow to really get comfortable with the whole feeling. To get comfortable with that whole feeling of it. Um, so... It just takes a lot of repetition, and if you find it feels really weird, then just... I did it when I... I used to just practice going like this to get the feel of it, because it took me a while to really get to the point where I could consistently... You know, get comfortable with making that sort of shape. Um, and uh, so, so practice is the name of the game with that. Um,